Welcome back guys. This is Unfinished. My name is SK Gitonga. Today we're talking about clout chasing and our next question is what do you think are the benefits of clout chasing? Let me know what you think in the comment section. You know clout chasing can give you attention which is required for some musicians, actors, influencers. Yeah. You get an open like an open space you get many people are interested in what you're doing uh, the second thing many people will try will look for that thing that you're doing i think i can say benefit not benefits just getting known yeah getting known that's all yeah, yeah. getting the noise yeah okay getting known by the public that's all because nowadays online is everything so you have to do anything to, for people to know that you're still there, you're still alive, you're still doing your thing. Yeah. It will reach a bigger audience because right now, uh, maybe you have to release a new one and you have to release it. So, if you're going to be on the limelight, you have to be able to get a new one. So, it has an idea to get viewers, it has an idea to get new customers, it has an idea the people who didn't know what he does, maybe when they are not sharing it, they are not able So, in our know, idea, it's good for it. Benefits of cloud chasing is that uh, you may attract some people because uh, when you are doing cloud chasing, some of the people will believe in you. You see, now, like for example, uh, politicians, when they when they are doing cloud chasing. They will attract people, you see, they will attract people, but after that, they will drop them, you get it, they will drop them. So cloud chasing, one of its advantages is that you will attract people by that time, but later on they will realize that they, it was all about cloud chasing. I don't think well, there is benefit, because as much as, much as you involve any uh, and drama, drama in your maybe your work on whatever that you are doing. Uh, I think it work. The more you involve uh, dramatic things, the more it fails. Yeah, I don't think whether there is a, a benefit there. Can reduce the high cost of living. And I think the the biggest reason is a marketing strategy uh, for anyone who is like promoting you know, an event, a brand, or just anything that you're trying to set online. If you clutch it, then you'll get the attention that you need and you'll attract traffic to, and you'll, say, you'll sell even higher. So I think, basically, it's just a marketing strategy. So someone who's clutch chasing also is earning, is earning more than someone who's dramatic. To me, I, first of all, my views me, I don't, actually conform i don't actually think that cloud chasing is good so i don't think there are any benefits that comes with cloud chasing although ukisoma in azakakua there are benefits of cloud chasing but i don't personally i don't think that cloud chasing has any benefits benefits of course will get the bug popularity isn't a benefit but maybe some people consider it as a benefit Benefits, Zeko. I mean, kuna uh, tuwa cloud chase, and then they've gotten, they've grown their socials, uh, wamepata gigs from that. So, I mean, kama it's oriented towards uh, growing something bigger than other than just kujulikana na kuonekana out there. I mean, why not? Kama TikTok, unapata pesa, like, uneza grow, unatambulika. I do not advocate for cloud chasing, but I think some of the benefits could be creating popularity in that it's easier for your target audience to see your content. And another thing is brand deals, but that only happens if your content was entertaining and it did not in any way drag your company's name into the mud. On to our last question. Do you think influential people use public sympathy to gain attention? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yes, yes, I think so. Because you'd find someone, um, I don't really want to use the president as an example, but le let me say like someone is in um, government, for example, or in a leadership position. They do, 
they, they, they can have a record of bad deeds, like things that don't really please the general public. And then they just do that one thing and people are now people are now starting feeling bad, oh we should like reconsider our position and so on. So I think yeah, these influential people do use do use public sympathy to like for the public to reconsider the, what, what they think uh, at that moment about them. Yeah. So that they can get followers, they can unfollow us. Of course, and it's not good by the way. Mbono wanike shidazako kwa internet, who cares, it's not good. But yeah, they do it. Yeah. The only strategy what we have to me from celebrities, politicians, pastors, I mean, uh, the moment we touch on people's uh, sympathy, uh, they tend to have like close um, uh, engagement with you. Like when I ask them, salute you, yeah. So, killer time, lazima we force kitu ndo 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 ipatikane Kenya. So like, mimi kikuzaa pani anze kuliyalia. Oh, lazima mtani 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 sympathize. Na bado abo mtataka kunisaidia ndo yo the same as the influencers on Afanya Sai wanna try to gain attention from the audience and at least your at least the followers among the the people who are nini, are following their channels. Hence wanna put your income. Take for instance uh, the do you see uh, the last general elections, yeah? Um, an instance where we saw our president, William Samoy Ruto, he went on live TV and he was crying. He was crying that, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember why he was crying, but he was crying at, oh, Sijinini. And actually, people were actually so, so, Yani in a like, oh, this guy has been through much. He was ditched by, by Uhuru, so, so, we must just give him these votes and he should be pre our next president of Kenya. Right now, as we are, Kenya is not the same Kenya that I used to know and I've grown up in. That's why, in my view, influential people and those public figures, they use public sympathy for their own gain and for their own interest. They do. Because, let me use an example. And it's not in a bad way, Nisishikwe. You see, the president, well, who was the president, they used the same trick that the current DP is using right now. They made people hate Uhuru so that they get sympathy for Ruto. See, that's what it's in my mind. Then, when they did that, the Kenyans had sympathy to Ruto, so they gave him the seat. Right now, the same thing is happening. The DP is using the same thing so that the Kenyans will say, Hey, yeah, the garage. Hey, so they use that. Yes, they use sympathy. They, okay, they're using sympathy as a strategy because uh, Kenyans are known to be kind, and uh, ready to help. So uh, I can say they are taking advantage of the kindness that Kenyans have. At some point I don't think. Uh, because maybe it's natural something happened, maybe accident, and maybe they want to update us as their fans. But public sympathy, I don't think they can be that heartless to start crying. To start crying so that you can feel for them. But if they're using public sympathy, then maybe they're doing it right because we are feeling it. Yes, we are feeling Personally, I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. mm. So if they're using it, well and good, but nah, they can't, no, they shouldn't do that. They use it in a manner that um, these uh, wealthier politicians, when they come to campaign, They portray themselves in a very humble manner. They portray themselves in a very humble manner so that they get our attention. They get our votes. 
But after we have voted them, they totally forget about us. So they really use our sympathies to get our votes. You see, these mostly celebrities, okay, when they want to work to talk with Shawimbo, that he, so that the, the fan base get to know it, they have to do something. For example, if it's a couple, they, they, they will unfollow each other. Yeah, others will meet up with other big brands or just say that they have met up with them to build up on their, to build up with whatever they want to petition. Yeah, so I think they do, most of them do. No. Mm. Uh, they, I, I don't think whether they use public sympathy, but if, as for me, they usually um, use what? Maybe wanatumia sana nguvu kuliko the public sympathy. We have seen a lot of our celebrities coming up with stories like Oh to Mia China just because they have new music content that they are about to release. We have also seen politicians acting, uh, taking part in some sympathetic actions just to get our votes and sadly many of us do fall for the trap. I think it's time that we do get to know better. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everybody who's at home. I'm saying hi to my fans, hi to everybody who's been on the comment section. I've been checking you out. See you next time, guys. Bye.